Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can be using the new ABAP statements more smartly and effectively and uh, so that you know you don't have to code a lot okay so be coming from the ECC background everyone who has been coding for like five years ten years fifteen years I've been coding for fifteen years and this is how so the requirement is to uh, to get all the all the in all the um, goods receipt for any POs that have a material number okay so let me tell you so that's the requirement so basically then what you have to code so this is the way you have coded before so I'm showing you the before and the after so before first I will take what I'll be doing is I'll get all the uh, document all the stuff from table EKPO which is the PO line where where you have the material number then you get all the PO, PO, PO numbers uh, which has the material number and then you have to join EKB table and then you have to you know put that so first thing we have to do is select star into ITAB and then you get all the details then you have to do a for all entries and all those things with this we have to so this this piece so i'll just i'll just calculate how many lines we have to write okay one two three four means it depends right we have one statement still it's a lot of typing okay so you have like how many 10 probably we are writing and then we get the output so let me first do a debug okay and i'll show you and this is how it looks i execute so if you notice uh here i get all the items so 650 and then i'll do a for all entries and here i get the output of all these 353 entries now okay so you can see there is 353 entries and i execute and i get this result now in the new way in the new way i'll be working smartly I, means again two plus two is four uh three plus one is four but sometimes you know uh, 3 plus 1 is beneficial to coming to the number 4, okay? Not that 2 plus 2 is wrong, but you know why you are going to write so much code, okay? And sometimes it can affect the performance. So what you are going to do here, instead of putting two select clauses and I tab and all those things, a check statement, I will just do it in a sub query. So how you can do it? Very simple, select star into this. And if you notice, I have used the inline declaration, which is very important. So I got rid of all this declaration here. And here, this is the this is the case where all these for all entries clause is coming. I'm just using this. The, the thing is only here in the in clause, you can only put one column. Okay. You can put one column that you are going to compare. Okay. And then once you get it, you can print it you can get the output so if i run it for here and i get the same up now if there is a case where i had to check the eblp also then you can also do it but in that case probably you can still you have to you have to do it this works only when you have a single single comparison of okay. if you had multiple then it, it will not work okay so in this case you can so this way you can use the open sql for sub queries okay in a select clause this is very very useful and you know you can think of anything and everything here rather than you do this and write a lot of statements so here if you notice i wrote probably 10 lines and there was two lines declaration there are 12 lines but here i had to only line four lines so it's like 40 percent less coding less writing okay so that way you can improve yourself. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.